My name is Sven Jacobta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on the subject of heart failure. Um, this video is called New Hope for Heart Failure Patients, a Game Changer Arrives. This video is about a new medication which could make a substantial difference to patients with heart failure in the future. So I thought I'd share this with you. The first thing is any form of heart disease, if progressive, will have an impact on the ability of the heart to function as a pump. So anything that affects the heart, if it's left unchecked over a period of time, will affect the ability of the heart to pump blood out. That condition where the heart becomes unable to pump enough amounts of blood out is called heart failure. And the problem with heart failure is that those patients who have heart failure will in general not have as good a quality of life as people who have strong hearts. And in general, people with heart failure or weak hearts will not live as long as people with strong hearts. So heart failure has a substantial impact on both quality of life in terms of symptoms, breathlessness, tiredness, exercise intolerance, leg swelling, and also prognosis, uh, worsening heart failure, more hospitalizations, increased risks of sudden death, increased risk of progressive cardiac death. We are always on the lookout for medications which can have a beneficial impact both on quality of life and quantity of life in patients with heart failure. The good news is that we do have some very, very good medications now which have revolutionized how we treat heart failure and they have both resulted in an improvement in quality of life and prognosis in such patients. Some of these medications are ACE inhibitors, so something like ramipril, perindipril, lisinopril, these are ACE inhibitors, um, and they've been shown to improve prognosis. They reduce the risk of early death in patients with heart failure. Number two, beta blockers. Again, these are medications called like bisoprolol, carvedilol, nebivalol, metoprolol. Again, these are very effective and they help strengthen the heart up. They stop the heart from getting worse over a period of time and they have made a substantial impact on prognosis. There is another medication called spironolactone or mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists. Spironolactone or eplerinone, again, another set of medications which has had a huge impact on how we manage heart failure and improves prognosis. And actually what we find is that a combination of all these three medications works much better than taking one of one medication and none of the other. So whenever I have a patient, I try and get them on as, as quickly on a combination of all three medications, even at the lowest doses, because it makes a big impact. There is now a new medication called Entresto, which is again changing the landscape of heart failure. Uh, and this is now being used, but I suspect that a lot of people with heart failure are still not getting it. Entresto is another medication that can make a huge difference. But the medication I'm going to talk about is something completely different. And this is really new information, but this could really make a huge difference. So I thought I'd talk you through it. The medication I'm going to talk to you about is a medication called dapagliflozin. Okay, dapagliflozin is an anti-diabetic medication. It's, it's uh, an SGLT2 inhibitor. And the way it reduces blood sugar levels in diabetic patients is it increases the amount of glucose we pass in our urine. So it causes a condition called glycosuria. Glucose passes out of the urine, extra water passes out of the urine, and that's how it works in its anti-diabetic role. However, there's a really interesting study that has just been published called DAPA-HF, D-A-P-A -A, uh, hyphen HF. In DAPA-HF, what the researchers were interested in doing was to see whether this medication could have an impact in patients with heart failure. Not all the patients who were studied were diabetic, but everyone had heart failure. They took, I think, 4,744 patients with heart failure, and by heart failure, I mean their ejection fraction on an echocardiogram was less than 40% and they were randomized either just to placebo with all these other medications I've talked about, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, spironolactone. These patients were already on it, but they were given a placebo versus being on them and being given this agent called DAPA. And what they did was they followed these patients up and the results have been incredible because what they found that patients who were given the DAPA had significantly less cardiovascular death less hospitalizations for heart failure and better quality of life scores 
compared to those people who were given placebo. So over and above current optimal medications, if you give these patients DAPA, they seem to do a lot better. And the most interesting thing is it didn't matter whether they were diabetic or not. So the benefits were seen even in patients who were not diabetic. So here's an anti-diabetic medication, but it seems to benefit people who don't even have diabetes but have heart failure. And there were really no major or concerning side effects from this medication either. So this is uh, in very interesting. It's very new. I think there'll be a lot of more research around this study, around this uh, agent. But I think what we have is something that could be a game changer for patients with heart failure. The reason I wanted to do this video was because this is fairly groundbreaking research. The problem is that the research is just out, but by the time it filters through and people start using DAPA on a sort of an everyday life and their patients may take a number of years. In the meanwhile, there may be patients out there who have heart failure, who are really struggling, who are searching for that additional medication that could make a difference. If you are one of those patients or if you know someone who has heart failure and they're struggling, DAPA may be the thing and it, it is available, it is used in diabetic patients so it's a good idea to go and see a cardiologist who has an interest and say look you know I'm on everything but I'm still struggling, how about DAPA and maybe that might just make the difference.